Hey guys, so I decided to do a Q&A question and answers um, type video because a lot of people is watching my videos and they're like, who are you? Where did you come from? So I decided to do a little Q&A. So let's get started. So with the first question, what is your name? My name is Jessica Ane Williams. Um, second question, where are you from? I'm originally from St. Louis, Missouri, born and raised, but I moved to Northwest Arkansas last year. So it made it, I've been here a year. I've been here a whole year. Hmm. How old are you? Well, I am 23 years old. I would be 24 in 26 days. So turn up, Team Capricorn. Yeah. What is your favorite thing to do? Well, I have a lot of different things that I like to do. I'm a very artistic person, so I like to draw. I like to do videos. I like to paint. I like to do makeup. I like to do um, different artistic things. I like to dance. Anything that's revolved around the arts, I like to do. What did you do for your last birthday? Well, for my last birthday, I was here in Arkansas, and I really didn't have that many friends. When I came here, my god sister was here, and it was her best friend. And they had their own apartment, so we decided to have a kickback at their house. And surprisingly, a lot of people came. Like, it was surprising because I didn't know anybody. Um, well, I, I knew someone prior to coming out. Um but like they call their friends and those people call their friends i mean it was just a big party most of the night was a blur but don't judge me do you have siblings yes i do have siblings and i'm the oldest of how many of them well your mama got a lot of kids and you can't keep up six i'm the oldest of six if you could go back in time and give your younger self advice, what would it be and why? Well, if I can go back in time and give my younger self advice, it would be to listen to my parents. Number one thing, listen to your parents, people, okay? Well, children, listen to your parents because it's a lot of things that I've done. And I'm like, I wish I would never done that. Uh, like, for instance, back in the day, how Bebo and MySpace was popping. And it used to be starting pictures. I mean, it wasn't anything like exposing anything. But it used to be starting pictures. And my mom, she'll say, don't put nothing up like that. And this and that, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, what you mean, girl? I'm popping. I could pop whatever I want to put up. <laughs> Me being grown now, looking back at um, some of those pictures, it's like, what was I thinking? Find some more questions. Y'all see that contour? Yes. Do you still watch cartoons? Duh. What kind of questions is what kind of question is that? Do I still what? If you don't watch cartoons, you're not human. Like what? What movies could you watch over and and still love? My one of my favorite movies is I like any Temptations, um, Matilda, Home Alone. I could watch those all day, every day. Replay, it doesn't matter. I can watch those any time of the day, all day. The last concert you saw. Okay, guys, believe it or not, I have never been to like a hip hop concert or anything like that. I mean, I've been to church concerts, but. The only concert I ever been to was Super Jam, and that was only because I performed in it with my um, old college, the Honeycombs, Harris Stowe State University. Woo woo. Um, but yeah, that was the only concert I ever been to, and that was only because we had to perform. But yeah, my wee bitch. Sorry. What is one thing you hate? I hate. When people tell me that I talk country. Being here in Arkansas 
and being from St. Louis, like we have two different langos going on, you know, two different types of English going on. So like back in St. Louis, we say her, we say dar, we be like, what up? Or, I mean, we say, we say different stuff. Basically, we don't complete our sentences, but we know what we're saying. That's all that matters, right? Were you popular in high school? To be honest, I never considered myself as being popular. I never tried to be popular. I was the type of girl, I stayed in my place. I mind my own business. If you was my friend, you was my friend. If you wasn't, it is what it is. Um, I've never been to a, a basketball game, high school basketball game. Never been to a high school football game. Um, I mean, I was just to myself. And plus, I was dancing in a Nancy Feet Christian Dance Academy of the Arts. Shout out to y'all. Hey, family. And that's something that kept me busy. So I really didn't have time to do after school activities and hang out with different people. So, no, I really don't consider myself as popular. I just consider myself as a chill person. Um, I never really had any beef in high school or anything like that. And I guess that's because I really didn't pay anybody no mind and no attention. I just did my own thing, you know? Why did you start your YouTube channel? Well, I've been had my YouTube channel for like some years now and I've been wanting to start my um channel but i was just like really nervous i'm like people are gonna judge me i don't know what people are gonna say about me they're gonna be like why is this girl talking to this camera she's weird so i never really did it up until up to this year um for a long time now a lot of people don't know a lot of my family members don't know but i've struggled with depression for a long long time and i'm still kind of going through it's not as worse as it was before but when I, my younger me, I, I held everything in. I didn't talk about anything because it seemed like every time I came to somebody about it, they will kind of like push it away, be like, oh, you good, go pray about it, this and that. Like they took it as a joke. So um, I went to counselors as, when I was younger, I went to counselors. Uh, so they try to help and guide me. But um, yeah. That's, some, that's the reason why it, the YouTube got my attention off a lot of things. It um, directed my mind towards something positive instead of something negative. Because with YouTube, YouTube is a second job, whether you want to believe it or not. You have to record the video. No, first you have to think of what you're going to do, how you're going to do it. You have to record the video. You have to edit the video. You have to make sure all the corrections and stuff that you want to do is legit correct and everything and then you have to upload the video like yeah so that kept my mind off a lot of stuff but um since we're on this topic if you're going through depression or if you know someone that's going through depression make sure you try to seek some type of help or make sure that you or if you know someone that's going through depression make sure you try to reach out to them and help them um I really didn't have that support because I felt like my family was going to judge me. I feel like people are going to think I'm weird. Like, girl, ain't nothing wrong with you because I always come off as this goofy, happy, you know, well put together person. So people will think like, how can you be depressed? You're gorgeous. How can you be depressed? Um, you're, you're in school. How can you be depressed? You have... Um, you have this, you have that. No. The thing with depression is, it's a mind thing. My depression never came from my looks or what I had. It was basically about big stuff that um, I went through growing up. And I felt like I couldn't talk to nobody about it. Because like I said before, when I tried to ease my way in to tell somebody, it's like they're kind of like, girl, whatever. But um, with me being the person I am and having the faith in God and being a praying woman, I, as, a, as I got older, I looked to God for help. Um, and that's basically how I'm getting through it. Um, so yeah, if you, if you know anybody that's facing depression, make sure you reach out to them and try to help them or if you're going through make sure you talk to somebody whether it's 
somebody that you, someone else that you know that's going through it. I mean, if you want to contact me in my inbox, we can talk about it. Because a lot of times, people try to talk to you about a situation and they never been through it. So you're like, how can you tell me about what I'm going through? Or how can you help me with something I'm going through when you never been through it? You don't know what I feel like. You don't know how I feel. So, I mean... If you, if you know somebody, like seriously, it's a lot of people that's out here committing suicide. It's a lot of people out here slitting their wrists or seeking drugs or alcohol because of depression. And that's, that's not the way to go. So my drug is YouTube. So I come to you guys, make videos. I don't get paid for this. I do this for fun because I want to do it. And not, I'm not fully completely like that's not something that you have one day and then it's gone the next day it's something that it takes time and um i'm not saying that i'm fully recovered from it but i'm saying i am uh, improving and i will get past it you know so like I said, if you're, if you're going through it or if you want to talk to me about it, inbox me, contact me, we can talk about it. Or if you need any type of, uh, if you want to go to any type of counseling, um, I can help you look up some places or whatever it is. So, yeah, I don't want anybody to feel sorry for me or anything like that because I know that I would get past this, you know? So, yeah. But thank you guys for watching my video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. And please, guys, subscribe. Like, it's for free. Why wouldn't you subscribe? It's the red button that says subscribe, okay? Thank you again for watching.